and we're going. All right, today, folks, we are learning about high quality legal research and legal citations. Dry, yes. Necessary, absolutely. And this is going to help you support your research in this course. It'll give you a one stop shop where you can go every time you need to find something out about something in this course. So you're not just Googling it and then finding something out there that might not quite be as effective of a source as you might want for the course itself. So, some of you have already gone to the course homepage and you have already accessed the activity feed to find the legal citations lesson that we're doing today. You have already opened this document, which is the legal citation guide, and you have seen how a legal citation is broken down, which is absolutely necessary in your understanding of the rest of this course and why certain cases look a certain way. For the most part, we are going to be using can Lee, or we are going to be looking at courses that are available through a, a site called eLaws Canada. Those are both official legal research sites. Good stuff. So the case that we did this morning, the case that we did this morning, I was able to access through the, the Can Lee site. So the first link I would like you to open is on the course homepage, the full case. The full case. So go ahead and click on full case RVRDS 1995 Can Lee. And when you're done that, please raise your hand on the Google Meet so I know that you're ready to continue. Excellent. Thank you so much. You can put your hands down if you haven't already. Please access the full case. And when you click on that link, it leads you to this screen. This is the entire case in detail about RVRDS the appeal that Rodney and his lawyer took to the Supreme Court of Nova Scotia regarding the way he was treated when he was stopped by the police. His case, his case is a major legal precedent in street checks and the treatment of racialized peoples in Canada, especially young offenders, sorry, a youth under the Youth Criminal Justice Act. Used to be young offenders, it's a youth as defined under the Criminal Justice Act. So what does this all mean? What does this all mean? We're going to find out, at least this part. So we see that we have a citation, this entire citation, for your purposes. For your purposes, you can copy and paste this entire citation into a Noodle Tools bibliography under the copy and paste citation function that we looked at a few days ago. And that is a properly formatted APA citation. It's ready for you. You're good to go. What does this all mean? Let's take a look. You should now be seeing the legal citation guide. You have the exact same document as I do. Please go ahead and open that, folks. The legal citation guide. I have broken this all down for you. The first part of the citation is called the style of cause and it can be found in the legal citation in italics. It's also the name of the case. The name of the case. But what does that mean? Some of you might already know this. R stands for Regina. Why? Because law loves Latin. Regina stands for Queen. RDS, in this case, this was Rodney, but because he's a youth, they don't put the full name in the publication of case material. The second piece, this column, is the year of the decision. I didn't think I needed to explain that any further because you probably already know what year of decision means. This is when the final decision was made, not when the case started, but when the final decision was made by the judge. The information that you see in that decision 
is in the judge's words, written by the judge and then recorded later. This here in the third column is called a Can Lee identifier. Why the number? I don't know yet. I couldn't find an answer. But it is a number. If someone could figure that out, please let me know. But it is a number that identifies the case in Can Lee on this site for that year. NSSC. What does NSSC? It means the Nova Scotia Supreme Court. Not the Supreme Court of Canada, but the Nova Scotia Supreme Court. It's the Court of Appeal. So he appealed his arrest to the Nova Scotia Supreme Court. And this is the decision of that court. All right. I know you're just as excited as me at looking at this next part. There's an entire guide from the Bore Alaska Library at the U of T that you can look at if you run into other cases that aren't on Can Lee. It's all there. But most cases are now reported. In fact, they're all reported online for you from every court all across Canada. It's all there now. Okay. As I was saying before, as I was saying before, on Noodle Tools, you would go to website, you would pick court case, and then you would copy and paste the entire citation from Canley. We've already looked at the, the link for the full case. Canley also has summaries, case summaries. You can find this link also on the activity feed of the course homepage. Canley Connects Case Summary. It points out the major facts in the case and what's called at issue. So if it is a precedent setting legal decision, that summary is going to tell you. Now if you click on this link, you will probably get it in French. That was the issue that I was having. And you can change that just using Google Translate. You can also pick at the beginning, or sorry, at the top of the page, there is a, whatchamacallit, translation button at the top that you can switch between English and French, and I just use that. Lastly, lastly, please log on to UG to go, folks. And please give me a hands up when you have logged into UG to go successfully, specifically secondary. All right, thanks for your feedback. Your screen should now look similar to mine. In fact, it should look the same, unless you're zoomed in or zoomed out. Super powerful tab on this page, folks. In fact, two super powerful tabs. The first one is Find Out. So please click on the tab entitled Find Out. And you will see that it has Britannica Encyclopedia and the Canadian Encyclopedia. It even has Stats Canada for you on here. And the My Blueprint Education Planner, but you don't need that for this course. There you go. One stop shop. You do you no longer need to Google Britannica online or just Google search a person from this course or some course content. If you're looking for a specific summary for a case, Canly is where you go. Another super powerful tool, folks. Please click on research. Research. I'm going to zoom in. You can see that there are some Canada-specific research parts here. Canada in context and Canadian points of view. If you're ever looking for a way to compare two sides in an argument, points of view or Canadian points of view is a key spot for you to go. What I used as an example, and I'm going to use as an example in this course, is I'm going to click on something called Gale Power Search. 
So please click on the link entitled Gale Power Search and put your hand up when you're there. Thank you, Daniel. Gale Power Search. All right, now, now, if you want to save all your searches on Gale Power Search and connect Noodle Tools with this as well, so you can just shoosh citations over, super powerful tool, click on Sign In with Google. And what that does is it allows you to save all of your searches. All of your searches, all of your citations, anything you've ever done on Gale is there. In case you click out of this and you didn't save one of your citations, no problem. You can go back in and see your history this way. Alrighty. Last part is we are going to use something specifically from this unit. We are going to look for Emil Durkheim. I'm going to use two search terms, Durkheim and Law. as keywords in my search. Not just Durkheim because it gives you an incredible range, an incredible range of stuff to look at for Emil Durkheim. If you put Durkheim in law, it narrows it down significantly. And what do we do? When in doubt, scroll it out, right? You're thinking, there's nothing here. Oh, there's something here. There are academic journals right at the top here. Emil Durkheim, Law in a Moral Domain. Let's check it out. This is a book review though, so you might not want that, but it does summarize what this book is about, so you can get an idea of who Emil Durkheim is. If a number of people use this source or a source from Gale Power Search, that's fine with me. Totally fine. These are high quality sites and way more focused than, focused than just the Goog. Check this out. This sweet little bit of information. If you click on site, if you click on site, it asks you what edition of APA you want to use. So you click on APA and select it, and then you can export it directly to Noodle Tools. So it's in a bibliography for you already. And you can do that by using the power of connecting it to your Google account. Everything's on the up and up. It's all sorted for you. So there we are. That, folks, is the lesson. Thank you for your attention. You can grab some gravy now if you have some kicking around. Do not pour gravy on your mobile.